All right, guys. So, welcome to my CLI Ruby Gem project. Um, first, I'm going to show you the site that I scraped. It is this worldwildlife.org website that has a list of animals from a species directory. And so, I grabbed this first page of 50 animals. And then, when you <clears throat> when my code goes through the link of the animal, it should pull up some certain facts from this area. So that's what I'm going to show you now. Um, so I'm going to open my CLI gym here. <clears throat> and it'll say, welcome to World Wildlife, where endangered animals are friends, not food. And it'll ask you, would you like to view the list of endangered animals? Enter yes or no. So we'll hit Y. And then we will pick, or, well, as you can see, all the animals are listed here. So we'll just pick the first one, which is the African elephant. And when you hit that animal or select that animal, it'll give you the details about it. So it says fun facts about African elephant. Um, so it'll show you its scientific name, its habitat. It'll show its conservation status and then a detailed description about that animal. As you can see here, and then it'll ask, would you like to view another animal? And so we'll hit yes. Let's choose the uh, 44, the hippopotamus. And it'll do the same thing about that. And then also if for, it says habitat and it's empty and that's because you were to go here on this website the hippopotamus does not have information about its habitat in this section so and that's what I wanted my code to do was to just leave it empty if it were not there so that's how that runs and then I'll go into my code now um, I guess I'll just start with my um, my CLI file so go all the way up to the top here. Um, so we have our class, the endangered animals, um, colon, colon, uh, CLI, and then we'll call it. That's where you'll get that welcome message. And it'll go here to this methods. Then we have our list animals method where it would ask you, would you like to view the list of endangered animals? And we'll get the input from the user and either go to the menu or the goodbye method. We can have our scrape animals method. That'll go into my scraper class. Of, um, and I have two um, scrape methods in it. So I have an animal scraper method and then I have an animal um, detail scraper method. So this one will get the animals. And we'll display them. And it will go into our animal class here, where all of our instances of our animals are classified. Um, it will start at the index of one, and then it will put the index period and then the animal name when it goes to display the animal. We have our menu that's going to call on that display animals method for the selection. And then I have this colorized gem here. So I colorized um, this text to be uh, light blue and I'll show you that here. I only did this so it could be a little easier to read. Oh, I didn't, I missed it, but <laughs> here's the, here's one that's blue, one that's green, the default color. Um, here it is, blue, and then the fun facts are going to be green. Just so the user can see what they're um, looking at a little bit easier. So we'll get the input. Um, once the user has selected an animal, we'll subtract it by one because the index is one less than what would be entered. Um, then we'll go down here. 
Now again, it'll go through that endangered animals animal class, go through the array of all the animals that were selected, put it down, and then again, we'll scrape the animal details for this part of it, um, and that's where you're, it'll change here for the animal that was selected. So we'll have the fun facts about, and then it'll input the animal that you selected, which is here. And then it'll go through my scraper class to get all of the information for this section of it. And then it'll just go to that goodbye method. And when you say goodbye, or when you end them, the in the uh, in those code here, <laughs> it'll say see you later alligator. So that's that. Uh, my scraper method, I had a um, difficult time with it because, as you can see, hippopotamus has like where I got my information. Hippopotamus has three. Uh, if you were to go to African elephant, it has seven. So. Finding the CSS selectors for this project was a little bit difficult for me, but I managed to use my resources. See, there's, it has way more. So not all of the animals had the same information. That's why some of them are blank. But, um, so yeah, so here's my scraper class. Um, we use Nokogiri to parse through that website and get the information. Um, the animals here, right here, they had the class of td.keep with an anchor. So I went ahead and iterated over all those anchors um, to get the name and the path um, with their URL. Um, so that way when you clicked your animal, it would give the appropriate information about it. And then I made a second method, um, the scrape animal details method. Um, using the animals URL from above. And then we would list all the information about the animals here. So with the scientific name, I had to go into the children or get the go into the children of the uh, parent to get the right scientific name. So that's where this code is here. And then um, it also, where it was held, where the scientific name was held, um, it had two other classes. Um, the I class and the strong class. So I went ahead and um, removed those so it wouldn't appear in the, the text here. Um, and then, yeah, then it'll get that animal name, strip the white spaces and, and put it in text. Same, so I did that for pretty much all of them because where it was located, I had to get rid of all of the I, I classes and strong classes. Um, so that's pretty much that part of it. And the description here, I just made sure that it grabbed the text, um, the first two texts, or the first two paragraphs of the description, um, to put into here. And, yeah, that's pretty much my class, um, the, if you want to see the gem that I use for the colors, um, it was the colorized gem that I put here in my gem file, or my gem spec. And that's pretty much my project. So thanks for watching! We'll hit no, and then, oh, let me exit so you can see the method. See you later, alligator!